Um, I'm going to do my opinion real quick and turn it into a question. Uh, um, my opinion is national security and the debt, national debt, I'm going to say national, excuse me, and I want to thank the two speakers and the, and the host. Um, that's, I want to turn that into a question that I think national security, I'm very worried about our country, or paranoid, and the national debt's going to go off the cliff. It is loaded to the right a little bit. I would like to know if any of you two would like to answer that or speak on that. Thank you very much for being here. I think he mentioned both national security and the national debt. He's saying both worry him and do you, how do you propose to deal with them? Well, we've talked a little bit about national security. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the debt. Um, I remember in the 80s, um, the left was apoplectic because of the Reagan deficits. And we kept hearing the phrase, $200 billion deficits as far as the eye can see. Uh, Bush was a big spender, George W. Bush, uh, and his largest deficits approached half a trillion dollars. But the United States had about eight and a half trillion dollars of debt when Obama came in. We've now had eight years of the Obama presidency just about, and the national debt has actually doubled. That's eight and a half trillion dollars added to the national debt under Obama's tenure. Suddenly the left has gone totally dead silent on the issue. Now, here we are on a university campus. I can understand why apparatchiks for the Democratic Party don't want to talk about this. But there's no reason in the honest and open atmosphere of a campus we can't point fingers, look at how this happened, and basically say that progressive government should come to a halt until a problem of this magnitude is looked at. We're living, in a sense, in a dream world in which Hillary has new programs and Sanders has even more promiscuous programs, and everybody's forgetting we owe $17 trillion. In fact, we've got to stop talking about ourselves as a rich country when we have the entire GDP of the country for a whole year, every private citizen's income, add it all up, it would take that amount of money to pay off the national debt. So, we're only rich in a certain kind of generic sense that we have abundance in our ordinary life, but that's going to be whittled down by the way, so our government is abusing us. It's abusing us by imposing on us a millstone of debt that at some point must be paid. This is the irresponsibility of progressive government, and I just wish that liberals would hold progressive government accountable. I'll say one word. <clears throat> I'll, I'll speak to the national security question. I'll speak to the national security question, but just a quick word on debt. Debt is a result of both spending and um, income. And the fact is that Chicago public schools are broke on purpose. They're broke on purpose because we refuse to tax the rich. There's no, nothing wrong in Illinois with taxing the rich in order to pay off the debt. So the idea that you don't want a debt, but you also don't want taxes is kind of, um, Contradictory, but I want to speak. Let me ask you, Bill, if I may. Sure. What, what do you think that? Let's take a very rich guy. What do you think that? What do you think the top tax rate in this country should be? Well, under Eisenhower, it was eighty percent. Um, How high so, would it be under you? So I, under me, I'm not. I have no aspiration to that, and I have no. But but it ought to be much higher. And the Bush tax cuts, which are in effect still. Um, have created a, cr a, a crisis of itself. You know, the thing that I often think about is Bill Gates, a very nice guy, very smart guy, obviously. What, what allows him to be the superintendent of American schools? What allows him to be the chancellor of world health? I mean, it's the fact is he has so much money that he can appoint himself to these positions, and it's nuts. But I want to speak instead to national security. As I said earlier that we have, you know, we've created an expansive military that's impacted every part of our country. We haven't been honest about it. We haven't, uh, we haven't had a democratic response to it. That is a participatory response to it. We live, we, we live in a mobilized kind of military state. We, we have not only ritual searches at, at airports, but we have a panopticon-like surveillance system. And we, I, I can't believe that we can, couldn't come together and agree that the fact that we're all being spied on all the time is unacceptable. Unacceptable. You guys, no? 
Final word. You know, yeah. but so, so I think that one of the things we have to do is learn to become a nation among nations. And that means getting rid of the trillion dollar military, getting rid of a thousand foreign bases. They're not needed, and they lead to things like the adventure in Libya, where we created more terror, we created more um, chaos, we created more jih jihadists than were there before. We did that. Nobody had to do it, but we did it. One concluding thought, Dinesh. Yeah. Most of what you said I completely agree with. The Libya invasion was a total disaster. I think it was, un power. It was undertaken for private profiteering reasons, not because of anything going on in Libya. There was no genocide in Libya. This was propaganda. Same You're also Iraq. quite right. Same with Iraq. You're also quite right. Yeah. You're also quite right that we should worry about the militarization of our government, uh, not just the NSA, but also the fact that right now, a lot of the agencies of our government come equipped with SWAT teams. The post office has a SWAT exactly. team. The Bureau of Land Management has a SWAT team. The EPA has a SWAT team. So these are not guys the who Glen come. Ellen Police Department They has don't a SWAT come to team. your door and say you can't grow that asparagus. They come with hundreds of cars and militarized vehicles and helicopters flying over your house. Exactly. And this is happening right now in America. So it is actually a tremendous uh, scandal. 